We're hearing for the first time from the woman whose horse was euthanized after it was hit by a car in Arvada. Colorado State Patrol cited the driver for failing to stop at a stop sign at West 52nd and Eldridge. Nine News reporter Brianna Clark joins us from Arvada, where an equestrian community town hall just wrapped up. And Brianna, they're looking to see some changes to make streets safer. Yeah, that's the hope. This is a monthly meeting, but tonight they decided to turn it into a town hall, using it for a much bigger cause to spark awareness, spark change, and create that master plan to keep both horses and riders safe. This is a look at tonight's turnout. The goal is to come up with ideas to make those popular roads for horses and their riders safer. Now that more housing developments and cars are moving into the area. So the biggest issue for this group, they don't feel seen or heard. Similar to how Laura Wolf felt when a car hit her and her horse, Griffin. So at least we know that Griffin's death um, is going to spark change. Um, it's not just going to be uh, for anything and that the community isn't going to be silent about it. So as painful as it is, um, I'm glad that it's going to bring change that's going to help a lot of equestrians in our community. Laura shared her story with the group. What happened to her and her horse is why all these people showed up tonight. And I talked with Laura before the meeting and she's hopeful that this will spark change. And a quick update on her condition. Since the last time we chatted with her about a week and a few days ago, she has been diagnosed with a concussion and other injuries. And because of that, a sergeant with Colorado State Patrol tells me they are now working to get in touch with the driver who hit her and her horse. And they are looking to charge him with some more serious offenses. I'm told that also includes obstruction of justice. Kyle. Hmm. Okay. All right. More to come on this then. Brianna Clark, thank you very much.